Hunter x Hunter, episode 12. Yeah, and then Kalua tore apart his internal organs and also his whole life. Looking for this? <laughs> I made you a sack lunch. And he didn't even take out, take one hand out of his pockets. Last X test of X resolve, so that would have been a losing bet anyway. Honestly, they are so lucky they, they get this kind of accommodation. Nothing about this exam has been easy or comfortable. Leorio helping them fail their way to success. Yeah, I'm curious what the other trials were for them, for the other contestants, applicants. You know, this show is so fun and it's, I don't know, it's irreverence. Like, they could do a season on this one element of this one exam mark. And I probably love it. Damn, that was rad. Totally rad. Yeah, I noticed earlier he was helping go learn. A little bit of a time crunch. Just put Kalua in front. Let him speed kill your way to success. Who's the real winner, though? <laughs> That's Tampa's goal, though. Maybe Tampa's just looking out for them. Maybe he's just looking out for them. Maybe he just doesn't want them to become hunters because he's seen so much death in his life. You know, he kind of has a point. The most embarrassing part about it was not that he lost. It's like, I mean, there's a lot of embarrassing things to choose from. How do you even rank? What stands out to me is how confidently he said he was the rock, scissor, paper master and then just immediately folded. I'm giving Tampa the benefit of a doubt, even though he's kind of annoying. Can you all just get some sleep? There you go. There you go. That's smart. That's tactical. Tactical rest. We have yet to see this kid sleep. You know, you know this room smells like ass. <laughs> after, after running a thousand kilometer marathon, being in this dank dungeon. Sleep is no big deal. Pillow fight. <laughs> Damn, those reflexes though, in his sleep. What kind of latent powers does Gon have? Children, please, we're trying to sleep. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't bother me. I mean, you have 40 hours, so. Yes, yeah, speaking of smelling like ass. <laughs> Damn, that's the worst thing Top has done so far. Yeah, after that, I'd probably sleep the full 40 hours and nothing would wake me. Huh? I don't even know where to begin. Watch him nail this on his first try. <gasps> oh, let's make me nervous. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't miss. He didn't miss. Oh, thank God, it's his pants. It's not fair. He only has the one. <laughs> but Lirio, he's just the gift that keeps on giving, man. He's so unintentionally hilarious. He looks like he's 55, but he's by far the biggest child in the room. Glad to see all of you happy. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe. Among friends. <laughs> Deep down, I love you all. Who the hell are you? The twisted irony of this is that despite the fact that they did well, they're the ones waiting in a cold stone hallway while the, while the failures are living in luxury. I'm so curious what the hunter world actually looks like in practice. Uh oh, time for a painful reflection. It's one of two ways through this. One is better than the other. He could either just totally avoid all reflection, or he could take some pain, man up a little bit. <laughs> Cycle of violence. That is beast. Less impressive, but nice abs. What's for dinner? It's a stick of butter. <laughs> Damn. Krupika got an education. He's coming out of here with a university degree. Maybe this is the trial, not killing each other. Well, what a surprise, the sniper made it through. What is even that? 
<laughs> this is a monkey. Oh, right, it's the man with the monkey. Joker on top. I mean, at least they're coming out of this rested. Yeah, imagine the suspense. What's next? No, is it the end of the episode? Okay, it's halfway. Ass. <laughs> Ass smell, yeah. That uh, was close. It's room related. It's the same room. Now you do it again. I see their their second challenge was a Mr. Beast video. Bro, let it go. Let it go. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Damn it, Gon. <laughs> what did Tompa press? Yes. Oh man. Lyra is determined to trip over every obstacle. If someone say something, he... wow, don't take it on a Kurapika. That's just. Wow. So it's come to fisticuffs. <laughs> oh, what the hell does this mean? Huh? There's no. Wait, but what? What are they even basing their choice on? There's no, like, clues? There's no description? We could use a little bit of information here. Oh, here's the info. Oh, oh, that's tough. No time left. Ugh. But yeah, this is legitimately difficult with the majority. Wow. 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 Up until now, every decision was obvious enough that the four of them, the four main crew members, could dominate. So the majority thing hasn't really come up as an issue. I mean, it would be easy if there were two Tampas, but the difficulty begins from there. And I, I noticed the weapons on the wall, so they're meant to battle it out for who stays. Leorio is sweating bullets right now as the weakest link of the four. What's the move here? How can we use laxatives to our advantage? I mean, this probably doesn't make sense because I think they covered this with the person can't move until the time limit expires. But my first thought is to lean on the fact that so far, it seems like anything goes in this exam. So you select the short path. You tie people up, you open the door, and then you cut them free. Is there no other loophole? Second to that, you hope someone volunteers to stay behind. And then you also lock up Tampa. Third option, instead of everyone killing each other, you put Kilua on the skateboard and just roll him through the 45-hour course in a murder blitzkrieg, and everyone else just sprints behind him. I think their intentions were very, very clear. What is the connection between this decision and him having to take responsibility? Maybe that's it? I don't think Gon cares. Damn. That faith though. This from the kid who says everything's too easy. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. Oh, now you want to pass the exam? Oh, there goes him caring about their well-being. <laughs> I had such high hopes for you, Tampa. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Though he did miss. <laughs> wow, Tampa's just really trigger happy. Everyone should just surrender right there. No, God, not you too. They don't even have enough time for the short course. They may as well try the long one. <laughs> this has got to be a loophole. And he died. Hisoka is disappointed. Alright, we really need a flashback for this one. What do they put Leorio in his backpack? Gon looks too happy for it to have been like a death match. Wow. It's hilarious if <laughs> Tom actually ends up passing this exam and becomes a hunter by accident. But how? What was the catch? What happened? Yeah, flashback, please. 
They just bashed open the door with the weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Good going. In a way, it did end up being the anything goes style approach. Though, Golden's plan was better than mine because they didn't say anything specifically about wall integrity. It's a little bit tighter. And is this redemption for them finally rejecting the parameters as they appear at face value? What's the total? Wow. <laughs> I don't know why that's hilarious. Oh man, this was making me laugh at death. I'm becoming the main characters. Yeah, it's actually kind of great and touching that despite how easily you imagine their their group would fall apart given pressure, like them fighting each other, one of the strongest bonds is Gon and Killua, the m merciless assassin. There's actually a sweet kid in there somewhere. I hope they can both find parents. <laughs> But in the meantime, maybe they'll just be what they need for each other. God knows it won't be Leorio, at least not yet. That tower mini arc ended up being great. I feel like I got to know the characters a lot better. Also, I like the central theme. Like, they're definitely testing heavily in this whole exam for critical thinking and independence of thought. I mean, it started with the woman in the wooden stall giving them that save your mother or your girlfriend scenario. Almost as if to say, there's really going to be no help, no guidance. It's all going to be on you when you're out in the real world, which I think is great and actually really practical and relevant outside the scope of the show or like a hunter exam for a couple reasons. One being that there's a certain sphere of life when it comes to the kind of great endeavors that have no limiters where to embark on that path means you don't really have any kind of example or safety net or structure or other people to lean on in order to help you make your decisions because sort of by nature you're you're in uncharted territory. The second is I don't think it's immediately obvious just how many dilemmas perpetuate themselves because of sort of A-B thinking, you know, or taking certain assumptions for granted about the way things work. Not only because it's often used deliberately as a tool for manipulation or guiding actions for the benefit of other people, but also just because of how, how natural it is to get stuck in self-inflicted AB paradigms. You could even trace this idea all the way back to the beginning with neutral Jing and Avatar, but it's so much more than that too, right? Like there's just branches of positive and negative Jing. Add in the fact that there's so many intangibles that go into planning things and, and taking action, it's hard to even predict what the results of certain things are. You know, like to give an example of that that I've experienced, it's the busiest periods of my life where I feel like I have the most free time. And it's the most idle moments of my life where I feel like I'm pressed, if that makes sense. It's also very easy to set preconditions for things, for certain choices. That creates kind of a closed and impossible loop. Whereas a lot of the time you don't understand the situation or what's possible until you start moving in a certain direction. I heard the saying that it's only when you move that you feel the chains. You know, you feel what actually the issues are, the real issues. One related idea I can imagine being very important for any hunter, despite not knowing much about the, the actual job yet, is the classic where there's a will, there's a way. It really does seem like they're entering a world where the only rules are there are no rules and so they're gonna have to define what those are for themselves so not only is it an exploration of critical thinking but also their values i mean if you can do anything if you can just straight up decapitate your you know your competition your rivals and you're living in a world of survival of the fittest and only the strong survive and anything goes what do you choose for yourself and how do you navigate